the big playability, the running game is there every week. Um, is there something else that you need to do for the ground game to be even better? What, what is missing, if there is anything you think is missing? Well, you know, you're obviously everything. You, you want to improve. You want to be uh, more consistent, you know. And, and it, it, when you're watching every play in every game, the, the chances of everybody being exactly right on the play is, is slim, and that's what you're striving for. So, you know, the, the focus that we now is we've established a run game, but we're, we haven't arrived. We have to be consistent with it, and we got to continue to improve it. And consistency, consistency, you know, is that's the biggest thing. We want it to be consistent, and we need to finish. Obviously, that, that's the that's a no-brainer. But but I like the direction we're going. I like our backs a lot, and I really feel like our guys up front have improved every week. And, and I'll tell you, Saturday you watch those guys on the perimeter; they really blocked well and that's a huge deal in the run game people take things for granted but when those receivers are blocking that's when those five or six yard plays sometimes become big ones that run by michael early in the game down the right sideline i don't know if anybody saw that but diami blocked the db into the into their water uh into their bench over here so um you know we told me to stop once they went out of bounds but that was that's something that you don't see every day and and that's something that man, really makes me excited about him and our group on the play that michael fumbled late in the game you guys went to a power package mm -hmm. vargas i guess was essentially a fullback in mm -hmm. that play and nathan went under center mm -hmm. last year larry used to say well it's not really who we are we don't go under center mm -hmm. is that something that you guys have implemented now or you worked on it before just chose not to use it until now we 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 carry a big package like that every week where we'll probably have one or two plays out of it. And, you know, we pick and choose the spots to use it. Um, yeah, yeah, we're not a team that's built with, you know, the big tight ends and fullbacks, but there's a place for it. And, and that particular play is a, just a G scheme, and it's draw, drawn up that the backs can be one-on-one -on -one with the safety, and you feel like you're at the one-yard line, you're going to win that. And really that's what happened. Everything was – Everybody had things up, and it was a one-on-one -on -one at the goal line. And you hope the worst thing that can happen is he gets tackled, and then second and goal from the from the half yard line. What do you think about uh, Jace Rooters' potential? Who? Jace Rooters' potential? Oh, that? Jace. He, he's got great potential. You know, he, he's a gifted athlete. Um, where he came from, you know, they asked him to do a lot. Uh, he probably wasn't as advanced in the passing game, you know, and that's something he's catching up on. He has the arm, but there's a lot to learn for a quarterback and reading your progressions and things like that. So that's something that's coming along, but he, he's really talented. He's athletic. Um, leadership skills are great. You know, he's a, he's a grinder. He works at it. So, you know, a high expectation for him as well. Cat, when you, when you have a kind of a situation like you do at quarterback, coming into the year, we have some question marks and you have injuries pop up. How challenging is that when that's such a key position for offense? Well, it's, I mean, we're seeing it played out in front of us, you know, and, and you know, I, I think most teams you see that, that are successful, you know, that guy's got to be, that guy's got to be good. And, you know, certain offenses rely more on them and, than others. And, um, you know, it's, it's just a situation where you want to have consistency and continuity. And so when you get guys revolving through, you know, it makes it a little bit tougher. And, um, you know, it's, it's you know, I think we've, we've we've kind of displayed the whole thing this year, haven't we? We've shown the really bad, and uh, we've shown the really good when we hit our layups and make good decisions, and then we've shown the. Uh, I don't think I've ever really been part of a game like Saturday night where you have 532 yards and you score one touchdown. It was, uh, I mean, that'll be haunt me the rest of my life. It was very frustrating. I uh, felt like the kids played their hearts out. There's no doubt about that, a high care factor. And there was plays all over the field that we just somehow, some way didn't make them. And really all we needed was one. How do you have been over? Sorry. How do you approach kind of uh, talking with your players, knowing that you're, you're pretty close, you won't play away in certain games, and you're getting there, and keeping the morale up with the silver linings, but also knowing that you're, you're still in areas still need a lot of work? Like how, do you, how do you coach that up? Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the our job as coaches to continue to find ways to motivate them. and. And, uh, and every week our job is to get them to improve, whether you win or lose. You know, obviously when you lose, every little detail sticks out. You know, when you win, uh, you know, a couple bad things, everybody overlooks it. But when you lose, everything's magnified. But it, it doesn't change for us. We do the same, win or lose. So it, it's, and, and you point out the good things too. You know, it, it's, it's miserable, but when you throw that film on, I mean, you, there were some things Saturday night that were really good. And so you got to grow from that, and it, it's just real simple. It, it was right there, and just you just capitalize on two or three plays, you might be winning that game by three touchdowns.
So they see that and they should be excited about it and want to continue to improve and just believe something like that will never happen again. Go back to what you were just saying about Jace. Was there sort of a plan that you guys had in place for him kind of through the whole year to get him up to snuff? And if so, how much do you kind of have to change things now with the situation? Yeah, those, uh, those young guys were getting reps through the spring, the summer, camp. So we've been kind of trying to keep bringing them along as we go. At some point, obviously, you, you can only have so many reps. You know, you look at maybe Chaz being suspended, actually, the light to that was we were able to get those young guys more reps, right? So now that, that Chaz is not with us, so now it's not like Jace, this is going to be his first reps. So he's gotten reps throughout the year. Uh, we've actually gone into a few situations with some packages for him. So, um, you know, now it's going to be expanded. But Preparing he, to get him on the field. That's right. That's right. So he's 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 he'll be prepared and be ready to go. And confidence level, I guess it's really important that you guys instill confidence in him until he steps out there. Because Larry noted the importance, of, and you have too, when Kay got those reps late against uh, East Carolina, how different it was for him just to see the speed of the game and yeah. see some stuff on film. Jace doesn't have that now, right. but he could be thrust into a situation where he needs to play extended time. So how difficult is that to impart confidence on a kid like that? Long question. Yeah, I think the key is, is you don't get confidence until you get out there and play and have success, right? He has confidence that he's done it before at a different level, and he's had some success for us in scrimmages. So he's got to go off of that. We also got to do a good job of finding out what he can do well and don't ask him to do things he can't do well so he can get that confidence. And that's what it's all about. Thanks. What did you 